Hello and welcome, PML fans. I'm your host, Edmund Joe here, and we are here with our Week 1 Exhibition League against uh, the Clang Gang. So, David. And he has a scary, scary team. And uh, I'm really... You know, I'm as prepared for it as I can be, but... Whew, after that crushing defeat of the Season 3 Draft League, uh, losing to Jaden, this is probably one of the other strongest po uh, Pokemon battlers, if really, in PML right now. So, it's definitely going to be a struggle to try to beat him, but we ain't going to hold back. I built the best team I could versus him, and we're going to... We're going to do our best. So let's go ahead and link up and check out what he actually brought. All right, guys. So I kind of quickly paused. Um, but, yeah, he brought Pokemon. I assumed he would bring. <sighs> he brought the Excadrill, of course. Um, right on, obviously, probably AV. So that's going to be scary to see. Ludicolo, Alcremie wasn't much of what I was expecting, but, you know, it's here. Uh, then we have Zatu to magic bounce our stuff back. And obviously Hippodon to s sit the rain up and stuff. So I'm actually assuming he's going to lead that. And I'm glad he didn't bring the Jolteon because that's uh, one of the reasons I brought Unifish. Um, whew, I'm nervous. But we'll see how this goes. So I assume he'll lead the Hippodon. I mean, granted, he, he can lead anything, but uh, most likely he's going to lead something that's weak to water or, you know, he's going to be weak to Sea King, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So, good luck, have fun, and let's get this battle underway. All right, Ludacris is coming out. Alright, so we sent out Unifish. Uh, it's not exactly what I wanted to see coming out. But it's going to have to do. Uh, we'll, we'll see if we're faster. And we're going to try to hit this Mega Horn. Hopefully, uh... Okay, cool. He Rain Dances. So let's see if this Mega Horn will do enough damage. We are Life Orb. Oh, and first turn of the new league, and he, I miss. Fantastic. Um, That's really going to put us in a bind here. So, I mean, there's not much more I could do. Uh, I guess I could go Trump Tower here. That really sucks. Um, But yeah, let's go Trump Tower to try to get these... Uh, rain these rain turns out of the way that sucks guys that really does suck I think that would have took it out okay so we double resist that so we're fine there we're gonna go ahead and try to put up a light screen to lower his special damage I mean we're still gonna have to take a big hit here Okay, so he withdraws, and here comes the hippo, which is fine. And obviously he's going to go for a ground type move, and we're going to get our light screen up, which is great. So ground type move, we're going to go ahead and bring out, um, I don't think I want to waste, I don't, I don't, well not waste, but I don't want to bring out grace just yet. Um, yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's bring out Grace. We could take, we could avoid the hit or take any hit that it decides to do. Or if it switches out, we'll be fine. And it goes for Stealth Rock. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so I actually have some decent tech here. And I'm actually going to try to go for the Flamethrower. Assuming the switch into Excadrill. Oh, man. All right. So now he knows we have Flamethrower. He didn't switch. Bummer for us, but it's fine. We'll figure it out. All 
Alright, so he's just going to kind of try to whirlwind spam us, which is fine. I'm not too worried about rocks because only one member of our team is weak to it. So it's not too big of a problem. But he's just trying to basically break any sashes we have. Alright, so he brings out Ludacris again. And obviously he predicted it, the waterfall. So we're not gonna we're not gonna you know try to predict anything here. We're just gonna go Mega Horn. Hopefully it doesn't take us out. But uh, at the health we're at, it most likely will. So we'll see. Okay, he goes straight for it. Okay, it doesn't take us out. He's gonna gain some health with Giga Drain, but we are Life Orb as well. So as long as this doesn't miss, we should take it out. Perfect. And Ludacris goes down. Okay, so Ludi dies. No kills. Sea King gets a kill. Beautiful. So that should have happened turn one, but it didn't. So now what does he go out to? He has to reset the sand. I mean, if he wants to do that. He, has, he would have to reset the sand. We're at low health here. Most likely not going to switch out. But hey, for uh, Sea King, he got a kill in a draft league game. So it's amazing on our part. What more can you ask for? Okay, Cripple X. All right, we're actually going to... No, never mind. That's stupid. <laughs> I forgot about the, the rocks. So we wouldn't survive a switch out. So we're just going to go Waterfall, see if we're faster. If we do, we get a pretty good hit. And if not, then, I mean, we're going to get hit anyway. Okay, so he goes for a Wish. We're going to Waterfall here. Doesn't necessarily get the kill. And we live on one. So I'm not sure if he has anything that's weak in the back. But... On the off chance he just switches out, I'm going to go Agility so I can get a hit off on the on the next turn. Wait, what am I doing? I should have just hit. I should have just hit. What was I? What am I thinking? Okay, well, I wasted a turn there. I could have potentially put this thing down and damage. I guess it doesn't get the wish. Oh, well. We're going to Waterfall here. We should be faster. And we get good ship damage off. So Sea King goes down to Life Orb. And it still gets the Wish? Oh, it doesn't. Okay, so Special Attack and Defense raises. So we're going to go Pyro Pupper here. No, I don't want to do that. But I have to. Okay, Pyro Pupper comes in. Whew. And obviously it's special defense is raised, so that's why we're sending out our physical attacker. Oh, well it's okay if we, that we put it in now because our focus sash is busted anyway. So we're going to go ahead and Flare Blitz to ensure the kill. I don't think Extreme Speed will get the kill. Okay, so Rhyperia obviously comes in. We get a Flare Blitz off. Obviously, this isn't going to do much, but it's going to get some damage in. And I wonder if he... Okay, so he's Leftovers. So he's not Assault Vest, which is great for us. I wonder if he Gigantamax is here. We're going to Will-O-Wisp the way. Oh, and he missed? That's crap. So that's two misses in our favor. I shouldn't have uh, wished David too much luck because clearly he's getting all of it right now. Oh, man. That would have nullified and I could have attacked Reversal this turn, but now I'm going to have to go for another Will-O-Wisp to make sure it's set. You know, even, even damage. Even attack. 
basically. Okay, so he's burning his, uh, what do you call it? He's burning his Dynamax here, so I'm not sure if his Excadrill is scarfed, just in case, or if he's not worried about losing too much sand. But he's about to get some sand up right, right here, regardless. We're going down, because we're not going to be able to take a, a hit from this range. Okay, that's fine. So our period gets a kill. Now we gotta worry about that. Okay, what's something we can do here? Alright, we're gonna have to go shadow here. And we're going to have to Dynamax ourselves and go uh, Energy Ball to knock it out. Hopefully it's not Rindo Berry because that might live it. But there's no sand up. There's nothing of that sort. So we should be able to take it out. We'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so max overgrowth goes off. And it lives. Holy crap. So that means Rhyperia is going to get the kill. Or does it? I mean, does the burn help at all? No, it doesn't. Okay. So Gengar is dead. Uh, Rhyperior gets a second kill. <sighs> it's not looking good for us. But we're not out of it yet. Okay, um, let's see. So we're going to go ahead and send out Trump Towers. And we're just going to have to go for a flash cannon. I mean, it's, it might not kill, but we got to go for it. We're shook a berry, so we should live a hit. Yeah, that's not going to do nearly enough. I think uh, we lose to right period. God dang it. Alright, so Trump Tower lives one more hit. I mean, it doesn't really help much. Riperia will probably get the kill here on this turn. <sighs> this tough. It should, it should lose its Dynamax now, though. And maybe we can knock it out here? We'll have to see. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just do another flash cannon. I mean, stab, super effective. Not really much else we can do there. And, yeah, not enough. And he goes rock slide here, and we live on one. So, interesting. I guess he thought he would knock it out. I don't know why he didn't send Ghost for the secure Earthquake. But, I mean, that's fine with me. <laughs> He's burning sand turns on his own. Uh, I think a Flash Cannon will get the kill from here. But I don't want to count my eggs before the hatch. And we're going to have to really climb back into this one. So I wonder if now he's, does he switch out just to preserve differential? Okay, so he doesn't. 
he stays in, which is great. And we get a kill. So that helps us in the differential department, but we're still not out of the woods yet. And Excadrill and Rhyperior were the reasons why I was really afraid to play this battle. So obviously Excadrill comes in here. What other Pokemon does he have? Okay. Hippo. So obviously he's going to try to drain the rain turn. I mean, uh, he's going to try to utilize the sand turns. He only has one left. And just, I mean, we're not faster, but I'm going to body press. And again, he goes for the rock slide. Okay, but that takes us out. That was weird. I don't know why he's not just going for the earthquake. Maybe he's choiced. That's most likely what it is. Maybe he's choice banded because he's relying on the sand to help him out. Do I risk the scarf? No, I'm not going to risk the scarf. I'm going to go out to Bull Pig here. We should be able to live a rock slide easily. And I'm assuming he's going to switch out to set the sand back up. So I'm going to go for an icicle crash. I really hope he switches. Because <laughs> if not, we just lost. Switch. You know you want to. You don't want to risk losing. Yes. All right. He switched. Perfect. Hippo Jr. is going to come in. Set back up the sand. Pile of Swine should get the kill here. But uh, we're not invested in attack. So he just might live it. Whew. That was a big boy play right there. Let's see if it pays off. Okay, so it doesn't take it out. But I'm just going to go for Earthquake anyway. Just on the off chance he switches back in. Come on, get us a big hit here. Cripple X. Okay, he went Cripple X. Okay, that's fine. I don't know why he sent out the Zatu. I guess he thought we we're going to try to get rocks up. But we're going to Ice Shard here for damage. Hopefully we can knock it out. Come on, do the damage. Yes. So Pilot Swine gets a kill on Zatu. Dereldon got the kill on Rhyperior. All right, three pokes left. An extra drill to worry about. And here's the moment of truth. We got to see if we can get the damage off with this earthquake. So he goes Iron Head, which barely we live it. Come on, Bull Pig, pull this out. Oh, and he lives on red health. So close. Uh, Ice Shard has to do this here. Ice Shard, come on. It's coming down to the wire, baby. Ice Shard has to do it for us. It's neutral damage, I believe. It should knock it out. It should knock it out. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Interesting. So he sends back out Hippo Jr. Um... Whew. I think he's gonna try to go for timer. But we're gonna keep damn we're gonna keep hitting. This takes out Hippo Jr. So Hippo Jr. goes down. Alright, does he send he send yeah, he's gonna send out Al Creamy. I'm gonna switch out real quick. Go to Grace. Ooh, this is a close one, guys. Very close. All 
Alright, so it's gonna go mystical fire. That's fine. Drops are special. But I'm cool with that. I'm just gonna go air slash. It's stab, it's boosted. Um it, even then it'll still get the kill on Exit Drill if it switches in. Okay, so we flinch Al Creamy. Let's try to flinch it out again. Come on. We got health on our side, so even if he tries to go for timer, we'd win. Flinch. Yes. All right, guys. We got this in the bag. Togekiss is going to get the kill here. Whoo, guys. That was a intense battle. That was very intense. Uh, Excadrill is most likely uh, scarfed. Um, if he's scarfed, we don't win. Well, we might, we'll lose Togekiss, but we should win with Ice Shard. But it all depends on how he plays his clock. And he's going to drain it. He's draining this clock. Mmm. That's not cool. So I'm going to play it. I'm going to go Air Slash. Let's see what happens. And we get the... We outspeed. Beautiful. He was relying too much on that sand. Great game. Great game. Great game. Great motherfucking game. Hell yeah. GG, David. You had me sweating my ass off on that one. But as you can see, guys, even though this is the Exhibition League, it's very intense and serious. And we're going to try to win it all. See you guys for week two.